Hey, Snickers Mag. I'll have a quick video for you tonight. Yeah. I'm on a roll again. What's happening? I don't know. But you know, a while ago I done a video called uh, Why I Use Linux, and the Linux Gamer put up a, 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 a shout out for everybody to put up videos on why they use Linux. So I've got a part two here, okay? Yeah, a part two. I know. Right, how did I begin using Linux? Okay. It must have been around about the year 2000, 2001, and I found a copy of Nopix, okay, or Knopix, on a CD, and I thought, I'll give that a go. At the, at the time, I was a Windows user, you know, like most of us was at that time. And I stuck it in the drive, as you do, and what before me on the screen was fantastic, okay? Everything was, that I needed was on this screen, on a CD. Yet, the Windows I was using, I had to download everything, and it was getting slower and slower and slower. So I played around with it for a while and left it alone in the drawer for a little bit longer. And then, moving on a couple of years, me and Sneaky Wonder had a few children. That's only two at the time, okay, at home. And, you know, when they get older, the kids want computers. And we bought Sneaky Kid, who you don't know, okay, we bought him a laptop. And he kept breaking it, and I had to keep reinstalling Windows. He kept breaking it and keep reinstalling Windows, and this would go wrong, and that would go, and they download things they're not supposed to. Bearing in mind, this is in the early 2000s, say 2005, 2006, maybe 2007. No, no, 2006 latest. And I got fed up with it, and we couldn't afford to keep replacing the stuff. So, I thought to myself, hmm, what do we do? Hmm, do we continue using Windows and keep costing us loads and loads of money? Or do we try something else? So I looked around and there was loads of distributions around. There was Ubuntu around, Debian was around, Fedora was around. There was loads of distributions around. But they didn't really work. But Ubuntu, at the time, at the time, guys, actually sort of worked, okay? So I installed Ubuntu. And lo and behold, it worked except for audio at the time, which was a really simple fix. But if you're not used to something, how do you get around it? Well, the forums were fantastic totally fantastic it was fixed in like two three minutes then playing dvds that sort of thing was all fixed no problem oh he was away and this was on a pentium 4 if i remember correctly yeah pentium 4 3 gig must have been so we're going back in the day but as i said it was not perfect okay and things you could do everything you want to do on your machine but sending stuff to other people especially if you were using open office at the time which we were, everybody was, there was no LibreOffice at the time, caused some confusion and some shouting and screaming, okay? And the main one is schools, okay? At the time, that, well, they still are using proprietary codecs and formats for everything. So when you've done something for school, sometimes they didn't read it, sometimes it was illegible completely. So completely non-compatible. And you see a teacher and they say, well, put it in RTF. You know, I put it in RTF and you still can't read it, so what's going on here? But remember, these schools pay thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds for this. They are users at the end of the day. Okay? They're just users. They just want a product to work with the majority of people. Remember, Linux at that time was did not have a big user base at all. I mean, it's grown substantially over the years, completely, completely. So now, if you get a LibreOffice, okay, and you choose the right font, your document will go through no problem whatsoever. It would just be read and nobody would know the wiser or go down to RTF. But do you really want to do that? No, not really. Still a problem with presentation though? No, there isn't. Just choose the right fonts and it will come through correctly. Now moving on to 2018, there's no difference really, is there? No difference whatsoever. You can be using any distribution and the OS, so you can be using Mac, you can be using Linux, you can be using BSD, you can use anything you want to. And basically, we can read the stuff. It's a bit like years ago when you had mobile phones. They were different chargers, didn't they? Okay, For years and years, and now we're on USB chargers. Why couldn't they do that 10 years ago? Make it easier for everybody, and everybody will like it. Now, in the next year, I think you'll find Linux will keep improving and improving over the months. You'll get this thing out of the way for what's going on now with the uh, Intel CPUs, AMD CPUs. That'll all get patched. Yeah, we're just going to see some differences, but hey, that'll be fine. It'll all get moved on and we'll get corrected. No problem. No problem at all. 
and you'll see Linux getting better and better over this year and you're going to see more people start using it because why should you have to have Windows 10 stealing all your data at the end of the day you don't you need that do you? No. so if, if you've got a bit of savvy you can do it but if you have got no savvy just put the disk in your machine or the USB key load it up dual boot give it a go and then when you're happy go full Linux no problem okay that's the end of the video like comment and subscribe Whatever you want to do, I don't really care. Sneaky looks out. I see you later. Bye bye.